My name is Joshua Paul. I'm a glass blower and a business owner, and I started blowing glass in January of 1996. I moved to St. Pete in 2002. I was inspired by a local artist where I grew up, Joliet, Illinois. Uh, he was making jewelry at the time and recommended I take a metalsmithing class at the local community college. That's kind of how I got my start. I took a glass blowing workshop from a world renowned flame worker. His name's Robert Mickelson. And I met Dave at that workshop. Dave was his studio assistant. My name is David Walker. I'm a co-owner and artist here at Zen Glass Studios, and I've been blowing glass for a little over 20 years. So I found glass blowing uh, just as a job to put myself through college. I was uh, going to school for marine science over on the East Coast. I started working uh, as a job kind of right off the bat, and within a very short period of time was producing professional work. Josh and I had actually met uh, back when I was apprenticing with uh, Robert Nicholson. We used to do workshops, and uh, it was a very small glass milling community back then. And uh, we were one of the few places that you could go to learn. And so a lot of the people aspiring glass blowers from the country would come through there. And Josh came over with a bunch of his friends from the Midwest, and that's where we met. And so it just felt like he was part of what I was interested in. Just exchanged information was like look when you get over this way look me up he was working out of his garage and I was working out of my garage and we just were like let's look for a space to melt you know let's find a place where we can be creative there wasn't much of a business thing that we planned for we just were looking for a space to do our artwork when I first started my family and friends were you know kind of concerned you know it's a you tell them you're going into the arts, it's usually a path, you know, rife with trepidation and, and, and turmoil. And uh, uh, so they were worried, you know, they, you know, everybody wants their kids to do a kind of traditional job. But uh, as I stuck with it and persevered over the years and built a business around my passion, you know, they, they started to accept it. And then again, that kind of that same thing it was like the more business we did, the more it became a business. And so it was just like one thing after another, and it was like, Okay, we're a business now, how about that? And that was in April of 02 that we started the, the first studio on Central Avenue. Now it's just what I do all the time. And I live and I breathe and I eat art and glass blowing. And you know, we do whatever we have to do to keep that creative process going. So the inspiration really just comes from the project at hand. You know, I might be in somebody's house one day or in a business the other day or teaching a class the next and you know maybe doing a memorial for somebody the next day and each project is special and each one is unique and I really just enjoy solving that problem, that riddle. Gosh, so, so I'm just open to everything as far as where inspiration comes from. I enjoy making the human figure, whether it's the face or the hands or the whole body, the human figure definitely inspires me. One way that we impacted the community here was by teaching classes from a very early stage when we first opened. Uh, bringing people into the fold of what we do here was a huge boon for the community that we, we are looking at today. Um, you know, teaching thousands of people about glass, how it works, how it operates, and how to work with it um, is not only it's also educated the community. Hi, my name is Charlie Parker. I'm a potter of 50 years, and uh, I own Charlie Parker Pottery. Zen Glass has been uh, active in my life for 15 years. Their impact is, is strong uh, in, in our community. They are uh, generally always available for a lot of things. They're both very personable, they're leaders. I see them in, in certain events at times, and. They're very hardworking gentlemen. They have a very successful business that started not as, as strong and now it's just one of the best in the area for sure. I came to St. Petersburg and found an already vibrant nurturing art community. Even back before the really revitalization of downtown and even really started, there was still a lot of artists here 
Back then it was a fun, easy place to live and work, and so the creative spirit was here. So that obviously impacted us. You know, it makes other artists want to be here. It's a fun place to create and bounce ideas. Um, so, you know, we moved here and quickly we're kind of assimilated into this arts community and uh, have been active participants ever since. You know, we've been trying to build it and do it much through building our business and making our connections and just trying to build this art scene. You know, it's all a cumulative effort. We have an army of tens of thousands of people who have never done glass blowing before give it a shot and are spreading the gospel of Zen glass from coast to coast, even overseas. Uh, so it's momentum. It's you know, it's it's, it's really it's, it's it's on its own. You know, once Dave and I had got this thing started, it definitely has a lot of momentum of its own. I feel that there's so much opportunity in what we do here, which is offering experiences that people will never forget.